Hey everyone, my name is Mackenzie. Welcome on back to the channel. I've got a 69 Bronco in Grabber Blue. This is a very well done restoration. The underside is just as beautiful as the top. This thing has all the bells and whistles. Come along as we go for a drive and show you this new arrival over here at LaFontaine Classic Cars. Up front, we got a whole bunch of new components. The paint on this baby is fresh. The lights are new. The bezels, the chrome bumpers, the wheels, the tires. Let's check out what we got underneath here. Oh yeah. So we have a rebuilt 302 small block Ford. This one's topped with Holly fuel injection, air conditioning, power steering, and a hydro boost power brake system from Wellwood. You notice we have our fuel pressure regulator on the firewall there. That is for our EFI, of course. Um, updated electronic ignition. Here's all the gizmos and gadgets, your coil and the little ECU to make the uh, fuel injection go. Ceramic coated headers, chromed out alternator, six rib, uh, belt conversion versus the factory V belt that would have been. Nice aluminum radiator with a very slick aluminum fan shroud there from Ron Davis. All really nice parts. Fresh air duct there and then one neat little thing they've done. I haven't seen this part yet. You actually have some storage in here. If you got some little roadside tools you want to keep in there or who knows what we'll leave that up to you. Functional wiper sprayers and a big upgrade is these gas struts holding the hood up. Easy to work on, easy to show off at the show, whatever it be. I mean, look at we got new stuff everywhere. And there's a lot of little subtle details on this truck that keep taking it up notches, and it's done with a lot of stainless hardware. So you got a gorgeous set of 31 inch BFGs wrapped on the slotted mag wheels. Bilstein shocks up in there, a really nice uh, coated frame that had all been sandblasted when the body was off during restoration. Beautiful polished stainless, more beautiful polished stainless, nice chrome mirrors. Glass looks great, door handles look good. Have the hard top in Wimbledon white, which looks awesome. Got a nice billet gas cap, giving this a little modern look. Wheel and tire stance is great. And you notice this is not a cut up body. This is factory sheet metal, no big flares. This thing looks tough, it looks the part, and it drives like a damn Rolls Royce. Gorgeous three inch exhaust tips, nice new chrome out back here, plated uh, hood latch, billet taillight bezels. I mean, they bought the whole catalog for this. And uh, check this out. Smooth operation on the tailgate. Gas struts back here too. We got some updated booms over here. So a uh, couple of amps, couple of speakers. This is really trick. And when you get this all on and plan, this actually lights up any color of the rainbow you choose. This is a great attention to detail build and no expense spared. And I really think it shows throughout. Let's carry on, we'll get this closed up. Cool. Passenger side looks really slick too. They've done a fine job on the paint and body. One thing too to note on these Broncos, this is a factory body seam. I know I got you guys looking all over the place. Sometimes they fill those in with body filler um, and then they tend to crack. I like that they have not done that here. Great fitting door, really nice detail. Hats off to whomever did the paint and body. This truck uh, spent some time in Michigan, but came out of Louisiana. All right, smooth action on the doors. These things open like it's a new Bronco. Beautiful sill plates, a nice billet hunk there. Billet window cranks, new door cards, stainless hardware. Get a peek at the hinges in the jam, all blinged out. If you're trying to build one of these on a budget, you look past all of these nice, shiny machine parts. That was not the case on this one. We got a billet wheel, billet dash vents, uh, close out panel around the tilt column. This is an I did it piece. We have the vintage air conditioning, twin stick transfer case, which is functional. We have a Kenwood head unit in the center console here. You lift that up. This one flips up like so. And here's the remote to make everything dance in the trunk. That's that, that boom box I was showing you. That'll make the lights come on, play it, turn it up, turn it down. Couple of cup holders, good place to rest the elbow. If you couldn't tell, these are updated buckets in here. Give you nice bolsters. You can take a turn with a little bit of confidence in here, which is cool. It's like new wiper motors done in a wrinkle black powder coat. We have the Holly Sniper EFI mounted up on top of the windshield here. Nice, clean, tuck the wire behind the seal, looks good. Out back, we got a pretty standard bench. Additional speakers have been added on these rear kick panels. Beautiful carpet, the cage is done in a nice black as well. And then a big upgrade 
the factory Bronco seats are a fixed position back. These can move all over town. You can slide them forward and back, and you also have retractable lap belts. Original trim tag. Just jump behind the wheel of this truck. I said it earlier, this thing drives like a Rolls Royce. Um, obviously, it doesn't drive just like a Rolls Royce, but in comparison to some of the other Broncos I've had the pleasure of being behind the wheel of, this thing is really smooth. They've done a fine job ironing this truck out. Um, no quirks, bugs, nothing. It just turnkey with that fuel injection. It goes every time. We have the air blowing cold on us. Compliments of vintage air. My Dakota digital gauges over here are looking sweet in the blue. And everything is hooked up properly and reading accurate. The RPM gauge is really neat. The speedo working good. Water temp is nice and cool with that aluminum radiator. Yeah, buddy. Something you're gonna have to get used to driving a truck like this around. Get a little bit of attention. Uh, we left the shop one minute ago and we've already had two thumbs up and someone uh, was just left speechless. A stare with, with uh, no thumbs up. Down here, we just paired this bad boy up to the cellular device. It really thumps. It's cool having the updated sounds versus the you know one factory dash speaker these got. And this seems to be working well. Very easy to play with. And as mentioned before, you got your Bluetooth, your AM, your FM, your AUX, whatever you want. All right. Smooth, smooth acceleration on that pedal. This thing shifts seamlessly. Show you the quick function of some of these bad boys. Nice and easy. And at a cool 40, we're turning this sucker with ease. The alignment feels really good. Kick down working just as it should. Brakes working like a dream. You're hearing a little whistle, that's from the, uh, the window here. And our cover is folded down, making a, a slight noise there. Nothing to be concerned with. If you want to know anything more or see anything more on this truck, a couple of things to share. One, down in the description of this YouTube video, we put the link to view the full listing on our website that has all the pictures, the underbody, the breakdown of the parts and the pieces that make this baby go. Our phone number, if you want to dial us up anytime, it's 248-714-2110. Give us a shout. We'd be happy to tell you more about the truck, about us, whatever you'd like to know. Thank you guys. It's been fun. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.